We're going to start by demonstrating how to swap out a grooved liner for a smooth liner and replacing it on to the extruder. Before removing the auger and the liner from the extruder, what you'll need to be sure of is that you have removed all of the pins from the barrel with the exception of a single dummy pin, which will allow you to pull the barrel and liner as a single unit without risk of damaging the auger. If you intend to change the liner without changing the auger, you can remove the barrel and liner without taking the auger out. So this is a 3 8 inch Allen wrench uh, to remove the eight fasteners holding the barrel onto the hopper. We use a lifts table to aid in removal of the barrel. With the barrel removed from the rest of the extruder, remove the dummy pin and slide the liner out. With the liner removed, you can slide in your new liner. The liners are unidirectional, so you'll need to be sure that they go in the correct way. So with the holes aligned, there should be a small recess at the very end of the auger of about an eighth of an inch. You can use a tool like a screwdriver to make sure that the holes are centered along the liner and barrel. Once you have your liner in place, reinsert the dummy pin to hold it all in place before putting it back onto the extruder. Slide the barrel back on over the auger onto the extruder in the reverse manner in which it was removed. Secure the barrel back onto the extruder using the 5 8 bolts that were removed previously. Once everything is back in place, you can reinsert your pins. Before reinstalling the pins, verify that you are using a slotted auger or a continuous or compression auger. If the auger is slotted, then you can use standard pins or dummy pins. But if it is continuous or compression, you will need to use dummy pins in order not to damage any piece of the equipment. 